Why would I keep kicking? Huh. Dragon Ball. Well, find his keepers. But with that poorly written segue, let's look at this week's comic, Find His Keepers. So last week we went over the semi-biographical webcomic of Garth Graham, and as promised this week we look at his next piece of work, Find His Keepers. So Find His Keepers began in 2008 and ended sometime in 2012. It's been difficult to find any real information about it, so this I believe at least to be true. The comic rolls around Kaelin, Asher and Cardinal, who were brought together through a series of events, which drags Kaelin into the world of supernatural beings and myths that most people believe to just be stories. Kale is essentially the reader within the comic, as her introduction to the supernatural allows the reader to learn how the world works. As a person, she's quite stubborn, but readily accepting of the new world that surrounds her, standing up to some rather dangerous creatures, though she has no idea of how real the danger is. Similar to essentially any companion Doctor Who, her lack of knowledge of the new world she's introduced to gets her into trouble, which often drives the plot along as well. And, as you can't have a companion without the Doctor himself, we have Cardinal, a man much more well versed in the supernatural world as he comes from it, and is some kind of royalty due to his lineage. Well, to put it properly, he's a lord of primary directions, and not a time lord. Yeah, close enough. Cardinal is much more self assured, his knowledge of the supernatural world keeping him far from the danger, and often trying to keep Kaelin from it too. Though he has shown that if pushed to an extreme, he will kill, though this is a fairly rare and infrequent event. There's one final character who I feel I need to mention, as she does have enough appearances to warrant support character status, and that is Death. She appears early on and a little while later to add some exposition and background to things. She's generally calm and sarcastic, knowing a great deal more than she lets on. And mainly my other reason for bringing her up is my absolute love for things like Death being personified, so her being a character in this really does make me happy. Looking at the art of the comic, I feel I'd just be repeating myself. It was what I had to say last time about the end results of community. I still love the art style, giving perfect little details to the background while not losing or skipping details anywhere else. The backgrounds always feel alive, giving off a perfect idea of the surrounding area, whether it's just the marketplace or an empty park. The writer for the comic is a careful balance. Any exposition is delivered with a dose of humour, usually at Kaelin's expense, as the supernatural world likes to give things quite a literal edge. Now, as I stated earlier, the comic ended in 2012, and anyone who goes to look at it will understand that it ended prematurely, due to Garth Graham's depression which was linked to the comic itself, which is quite a blow for anyone who loved this comic. But at the end of the archive, Garth Graham has put up a post that states he is working on something new, even if not going to be working on Finders Keepers anymore, and it will appear in 2013. And I'll be happy to see it when it comes out. So, with this week's review over, I hope you'll join me once again for a look into the wide world of webcomics. <laughs> Excuse me. I think someone wants the Dragon Ball back. <sighs>